Hi friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. So I flew to the East Coast and while I was in Virginia, we left Virginia, went to North Carolina, went to QuiltCon, left QuiltCon, went back to Virginia. And while we were in Virginia, at the end of that week, before I was supposed to go home, we went to Hampton, Virginia, which is on the coast, literally by the beach. I didn't get to go to the beach. I got to go to a little inlet where I took a picture to prove that I've been to the Atlantic Ocean, as well as you know, I've been to the Pacific Ocean a million times because I was born and raised in California. So <laughs> I've been both coasts now, both oceans. Didn't really get to go to the ocean ocean because the road Becca took wasn't the right one to go to the ocean, but there was an inlet and there's inlets on the East Coast as well as on the West Coast. So technically I've been to the ocean. I, I'm going to say it. I've been to the ocean. <laughs> um, Anyways, so while we were in Virginia, we went to Hampton, Virginia on March 2nd and went to the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Fest. Let me tell you, I've been to a few shows, but I've not been to a few shows around the country, just locally. That's it. Local stuff. So I've never seen anything bigger than the places I go locally, minus going to QuiltCon, because QuiltCon is ginormous. <laughs> But this place was also ginormous. It was a huge building with so much, so much packed inside. I do have to say though, I did get a feel of like, uh, like an indoor swap meet, but a quilter's swap meet while I was there. It was, uh, the, the tone of the lighting was kind of low and uh, it was very crowded and it was very tight. Same as QuiltCon, kind of weird. I think that might be common with big shows and big buildings is like the tightness and closeness of where everything's set up. But you could be walking through the quilts and then all of a sudden there is booths and then you're back to quilts again and then you're back to booths again. Like it wasn't set up the way I personally would probably set up a quilt show, but it was set up like a swap mate. That's what it felt like, like an indoor swap meet. So, but it wasn't like used stuff or anything. It was just quilter booths with all sorts of quilter stuff, fabric. And, and it wasn't just quilter stuff. I mean, there were some booths that had yarn. There were some booths that had embroidery stuff. There were some booths that had, you know, like legit kits was there. I mean, and that's a little bit more modern with the picture-esque of things, you know, um, putting together paper piecing. But a, a there was lots of stuff there to see. Like um, there was long arm booths and there was machine booths and, and, and everything. Just, I could go on and on. This place was huge. And when it comes to the quilts, it wasn't just modern quilts and it wasn't just traditional quilts. There was everything in between. So there wasn't just little courthouse steps or log cabins. And there wasn't just, you know, hey, look at me, bright colors like you just saw in my QuiltCon video last week. There was a lot of everything. So let's just say the quilts at this quilt show, oh my goodness, striking, amazing. And again, I tried, you know, with the whole, let's like take only 25 pictures, but no, that didn't happen. Not at all. <laughs> I literally could not stop seeing, oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at this one. Like I was literally all over the place, all over the place but that's me. That's what I do. I just like quilts and they draw my attention and I have to take a picture. So I took lots of pictures, which you're going to see soon, but you're also going to see a couple, just a couple of me. Welcome to Virginia sign because that was my goal. And I didn't get one in North Carolina and I was hoping to get one at Virginia and in North Carolina because I tried to get, you know, a welcome to sign at every state I've ever been to, but that just didn't happen. So we finally stopped at a rest stop and I actually got a welcome to Virginia sign picture with me, this one. <laughs> and I also got that one in front of the inlet at the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> so anyways, here is the pamphlet from that quilt show. Um, it has all sorts of stuff in it. It was held at the Hampton Roads Convention Center. This place was ginormous, but then any building is ginormous compared to where I live because 
we don't have big, huge buildings. We have an aquatic center where they hold most things in this town, and it's not that big. I mean, with my littleness inside of it, it's huge, but it's not that big, not compared to these places and everywhere else in the country, but here. <laughs> So it, it has a little bit of like, you know, the places that, you know, the people that were there. Innova was one of the long arm companies there. And I even got their pamphlets. Let's just say I walked up to this machine and I started messing with it. And I was like, this is quiet. I have never played with a super quiet long arm. Never. Not once. Um, I played with Gamels and I played with Baby Locks and I played with... Um, Grace and my King Quilter and Handy Quilter and you name it, all those machines, they are loud. But then I played with this Anova. I'm not saying, you know, I'm trying to sell this Anova for Anova, but uh, I am trying to say that I was so excited about the silence of this machine that I went over and grabbed Becca and I said, you got to play with this machine. So she came over and played with that machine and she was like on it forever. So we found out they're on servo motors, which is what I have on my industrial machine here in the other side of my room that I can see. And I was always wondered, you know, hey, that's a quiet machine compared to my TL2010Q, my Juki. And that Juki is quiet and it's because it has a servo motor. So that is why that these long arms were quiet. And I was like, ooh, but then I saw the price and I said, well, ooh, that's never going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, so they had like thimble people there that sell thimbles and they had brother and Bernina and Janome and baby lock and then they had um, Places that sell magic binding, you know, they had a little bit of everything tons of fabric lots and lots of fabric dealers But none of it was really my style like I'm a I like bright super bright I mean they did have places little booths that had Tula but um, right now, I didn't want to lie. I wanted other stuff, other companies, you know? So there wasn't really anything that was my whatever. Here is the layout of the floor, by the way. I mean, again, ginormous. But like I was saying, it was kind of set up like a swap meet. You literally walk through the quilts, and then you're in a booth. And then you walk through more quilts, and then you're in a booth. So it was kind of set up a little bit differently. They didn't have all the quilts to one side and all the booths to the other. Like most quilt shows I've been to so far, or the quilts were in the middle and the booths were around the outer perimeter. So it was a little bit weird. Um, and walking through it was a little hard because there was a lot of people and they didn't have their aisles for the quilts hanging very open. They had them kind of tight because there was a lot of quilts to display. And they had a lot of miniature quilts. Um, there was tons of maybe, I guess they were challenges because you'll see in the pictures, there's a lot of animals. So I'm assuming that they had an animal quilt challenge. Then there's also the monarch butterfly challenge. Just wait till you see those because I instantly was like, oh, butterflies. And I took pictures of every single one of them, but not single pictures. I just took multitude pictures because they were all hanging next to each other. Really simple to see. Um, I'm like looking at this book going, oh, wait, I saw them. They had aero furniture and so on and so forth. Boy, I just get distracted easily, don't I? But they had everything at this place. And it was a beautiful, beautiful presentation of everything in a swap, indoor swap meet kind of style. But it was great. I loved it. Um, and I got lots of pictures of lots of beautiful quilts and the amazing artistry behind some of these the quilting on them I could never even imagine doing like some of it was so tightly quilted I don't even tightly quilt like that and I quilt really tiny but I don't quilt that tiny so you'll see in some of these pictures there was also just one and I didn't see this in any show that I've been to in a while I have not seen an, a whole cloth quilt and whole cloth quilts definitely intrigue me. I love them. I don't know why I have yet to make one. I need to, like, I really, really, really should just mark up some a whole piece of cloth and go to town on it. But I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to because there was only one hanging there and I was like, and I just stopped with these big eyes and stared off into that quilt going, oh, I could do that. Was that computerized? Was that this? Was that that? And I'm thinking to myself, all these possibilities that I can do with my machine. 
And then I thought about my throat space on my machine. And then I looked over at that quiet Innova machine and said, oh, no, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> you know, I'm so weird. Anyway, long story short, because I'm just going to keep babbling. We're going to get to some pictures. I'm just going to throw on some tunes while you guys watch this. And I hope you enjoy the beauty that I was able to take pictures of at this wonderful show that I went to. Again, it was great. Thank you to Becca and Jason. You guys are amazing for taking Ian and I all the way to the coast so that we can go to a second show while we were in Virginia because the other one was in North Carolina. So again, she took me to North Carolina even. I mean, come on now. I mean, that woman, amazing. So, and there's a picture of her next to her quilt, one of them, because she had two in this show. The other one's in there somewhere. Um, I tried to get pictures of the names of the people, but obviously you can't see them all. So here we go. Let's roll some tunes and look at some beautiful quilts. <laughs> <laughs> 